What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to MLB The Show 18 Road to the Show featuring Joey Gardner. We're on the Charlotte Knights. We're not starting out so hot and we're facing a hot team in the Buffalo Bisons. It's been a while since I've played MLB The Show and then I figured, you know, why not bring it back today? Uh, don't worry, uh, Detroit Become Human will be back tomorrow or the next video whenever I put the next video out. I'll say, I want to say tomorrow, but we'll, we'll see. The next video will definitely be Detroit Become Human, though. Tyler Cloyd's on the mound. Uh, he had a pretty good start in his first start in, of the 2019 season. Let's see if he'll keep it up. Hopefully not. As Joey Gardner's coming up, he's the DH tonight, uh, number 33. It's the top of the second. Runners, nobody on with a one away. All right, let's see if we still have a hot bat that Gardner was carrying coming in to, or, you know, at, since our last video, he had, uh, he's hitting almost at 400. That fastball's below the knees for ball one, though. So at least we're working the count still. We're still working the count. All right, that's right down the middle. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll, I'll wait for my pitch. I will wait. I will wait. All right. Got away from my pitch. Here's the 1-1 one, one from the lovely pitcher. That's a curveball. And that one is drilled into right field. And that's why you take your time because that one was crushed for a solo shot. His second of the season. And it gives Charlotte a 1-0 lead. That's what you need to look for. It was a hanging curveball. Garner, even with the slider, with the lesser amount of power. Definitely, uh, definitely can hit that one over the wall. And it was before this game. I actually, I, I wish I uh, was recording, but I wasn't. Um, Gardner was asked by the media in one of my first media appearances ever if uh, Gardner was feeling ready for his call-ups to the majors, which could happen soon based on what their speculation is. And if that is true, that home run right there will only help. It, the matters as Garter is one for one as we are now down two to one. We're a little too excited. It's only the four, top of the fourth. Runner at second with only one away, so we have a chance to at least tie the game up. At the very least, if we get a base hit here, that's a fastball below the knees for ball one. So starting out the at bat, pretty much the same way as we did the, the first at bat. Let's see if he wants to bring me that 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 hanging curveball again. You want to give it to me again, bud? I'll take it. Up. Oh, oh, he got me with the cutter in that one. That one will be popped up to uh, the third baseman, or whoever made the catch, the third baseman for the second out. So that's going to put down our clutch and our batting versus righties. Yep, it was definitely a cutter. I felt it. Top of the sixth, runner at first with two away. Gardner needs to look for a base hit here. Let's see if he can find it. Oh, another cur cutter. This one past the diving shortstop and into center field. The runner at second will stay at second with now two away. And Gardner is now two for three with a, uh, with a single to add on to his home run today. Not bad, not bad. Can't complain about that. All right, who's coming up to the plate? Brett Garner. Here he is, the other Garner on the team. Number, f what number is he wearing? Oh, he's wearing 11. Okay, for a second it looked like a four, but no, he is wearing 11. The 0-2 is going to be grounded to second. The throw to first will be in time to beat the speedy Garner, and that will end the inning. So we're still down two to one. Not so great. Not so great. All right, Garner's coming up again, two for three in this game. It is now three to four. A runner at third, though, with one away. So a pop. If we can get a, if we can get a, a, a fly ball into the outfield, that would be an automatic RBI score. We just have to get it deep enough. That one was fouled off. It was a two seamer. We were just too early on the swing for 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 strike one. All right, here's the 0-1. Ooh, he got me with the slider, and now we're down 0-2 here in the top of the eighth with only one away. All right. All right, we need to use our showtime. We need to use our showtime right now. This one's going to be a strike and boom. Oh, no. I may have screwed up our sack fly opportunity. The throw home is going to be... Oh, he's going for it. The throw is not in time, and that will tie up the game here in the eighth. So we did get to tie the game. Not too bad. I didn't think we'd have that opportunity. And Garner's coming up two for three in this game. Top of the 10th, two away. Garner's trying to keep his good game alive. He is hitting 408 this season. God damn. That's a fastball that's going to be a little too high for ball one. We're going to leave that one alone. Eh, it's okay. Pretty good game to start it out so far. We need to find a way to get this win if we can find it. All right, come on. Give me, give me, give me, give me. Ooh. Ooh. Ump. Man, my day, my discipline went up too. You, you shady umpire. I hate you. I hate you, umpire. I you, you wish you could hear me. I'm, 
All right, anyway, here's a fastball that we can hit. That one's drilled into right field, and it will get down for a base hit. So Garner's on base with a two-out single to advance his game three for four now. Not too shabby, not too shabby at all. That fastball was right down the middle, and Gardner just did what he had to do with it and took it right back, to, or, or he hit it to where it needed to go. All right, Gardner's got a 2-2 count. Jo uh, Brett Gardner, that is, has a 2-2 count with two away, and Joey Gardner at first. Who is going for second? That is going to be swung on and missed. So Brett Gardner is unable to make anything happen with that two-out single. And Garner, Joey, is going to have another opportunity in this game as we look back earlier in his first at-bat where he hit that solo shot, which put us up on the board early. Unfortunately, we haven't been able to do much since. All right, top of the 12th. We have a 5-4 to four lead, though, so that's actually good. That's actually good. Two away, runner at first. Let's see if Garner can add on here. Boom, that one's, ah, that one's ground, grounded to short, or first. Short, short, short's on the other side of the field. Anyway, we grounded out to first, and that should end the inning. And the game, yes it is. Charlotte comes in and wins the game in extras. 5-4 to four is the final score. Gardner went 3-5 for five with a home run and two RBIs. Not too bad. Let's get on to the next game right now. We came into the video not so hot. Now we are 8-8 eight and eight, facing another hot team. After sweeping the Buffalo Bisons in three games, we take on the 13-3 Pawtucket Red Sox. I believe we faced them earlier in the season, and I believe we didn't do so well. So hopefully we can do better this time around as Larry Casey will take the mound for the Sox. In three starts, he has a 1-1 record and a 4.5 ERA, 18 innings pitched, 19 hits. A 1.22 whip, uh, three walks, and 11 strikeouts. His hit total is a little high, so um, let's see if he can bring that down. Hopefully not against us, but anyway, let's move on. Top of the second, Garner has nobody on with nobody out, so he is leading off the inning. That's going to be a fastball, a little too high for me. I'm going to leave that one alone for ball one. All right, so the last game, patience prevailed. Let's see if we can do a get, do so or do as well this time with a 1-0 count. Here's the pitch. It's going to be lined to first, and that will be caught for the first out. So unfortunately, that wasn't our pitch. And we swung at it, and we went over one so far to start the game. But we are up 1-0 here in the top of the fourth with a runner in scoring position at second and nobody out. So we need to get a base hit here to score that run. That's a fastball on the outside part of the zone. So it is in the zone for strike one. It is an 0-1 count. Okay, come on, pitcher. What are you going to give me? You're going to give me something good? The 0-1. Boom. That one's going to be drilled into left field. That one's going to the track. And the diving left field will not make the catch. And I think he's going, he's going to definitely go home. Yes, Gardner is going to get over to third. The throw home is not in time. And that will advance the lead up 2 to nothing now on an RBI. I want to say triple there. That has to be a triple. But damn, that, that ball kept carrying and carrying and carrying. And the left fielder tried to dive for it. Could not make the catch. And it scored us our second run of the game. And Gardner is now at third. For Greg Whaley with nobody out. Runner third runny runner 90 feet away and he has a 3-0 count. I think this might be a walk. Here's the 3-0. It is going to be looked at for ball four. So yes, a walk does commence, and that will now put runners on the corners. The pitching coach is gonna go out there and talk as Kent Ge Geswaldo is gonna come up, I'm gonna assume is his name. 2-2 two -two count with two on, nobody out. Let's see if he can get this ball in play. And Gardner has a chance of scoring the 2-2. Two -two is going to be drilled into left field. That will definitely be a, well, that's definitely gonna score a run. It will be caught on the track in left field and that will score the third run of the game as Charlotte is now up three to nothing here in the top of the fourth with only one away. Let's see if we can add on to it. Gardner is gonna come up one for two in this game with an RBI triple on his line. It is the top of the six, nobody on, nobody out and we are up four to nothing now. So he did get an extra run. I don't know if it was from that that flurry of, uh, that, that, that good inning, but it happened nonetheless. We got some. We got an extra run, four runs. It's a pretty good lead, especially in the top of the six. Hopefully, we can hold on to it. The 1-0 to Gardner is going to be. Ooh, that was a good changeup. I thought it was going to be a fastball. Got me there, and it was a changeup. I swung right over it. So the count is one and one now. All right, what do you got, pitcher? Boom! Oh, he came back with that changeup. Okay, maybe I shouldn't be looking for fastball if he's not giving me the fastball. All right, does he go changeup again? I wonder if he does it three times in a row. Not at least in the spot I'm looking for. The one-two. Ooh, he got me looking right there for the for the punch out. God damn it! I knew I should have swung too, knowing it wasn't a changeup. But anyway, we have bases loaded here in the top of the seventh. Same pitcher out there. One away. Come on. This is our opportunity. The pitch. 
is going to be drilled into left center field and it was going to be caught by the left fielder the throw is going to be made to the cutoff man so we will add on to the lead unfortunately couldn't do much other than a sack fly but we are up seven and nothing here in the seventh against what i already said earlier in the game was a hot team in the pawtucket red sox 10-3 game now here in the top of the ninth and we have an extra chance to uh, score some more runs as that one's going to be drilled pat or, or taps past the diving first baseman. Garner's going to get himself a single as the ball bounced off the wall and into the arms of the right fielder. So Gardner gets another 500 game going two for four with a triple and a single on his line. Not too bad. One, one for three in this game is Whaley. He has a one-two count with a runner at first and one away. The pitch is going to be looked at for strike three. The throw is going to be not in time, and Garner is in there with a stolen base for no other reason than we just wanted to steal. And now there are two away with Garner at second, and Kent Gizwaldo, or how the hell you say his damn name, is coming up with an 0-2 count and a runner at second. The pitch is going to be or drilled, pat, or, or it's going to be tapped to the diving first base, and this time makes the catch to end the inning. It was, you know, one of the few highlights this team had in this game as we come away with the victory. Gardner went two for four with a, with a single and a RBI triple. He had two RBIs, not too bad. 10 to three is the final score. Let's get on to the next game right now. The Charlotte Knights are on a roll. 10 and nine record facing the Gwinnett Stripers. They are 13 and seven to start out the season. We are home at All-American Ballpark to try to keep this hot streak going. We won two out of three against the uh, Pawtucket Red Sox. So we swept one of the hotter teams in the Charlotte, or no, no, whatever team we faced before then. And we then uh, took two out of three from the other hot team in the Red Sox. Tim Overstreet's on the mound for us today. I did not look at his stats. Probably should have done that either way, whatever. 389 uh, average for Garner in the season with three home runs and 11 RBIs. Not too bad. Hopefully, going to add on to it. It's the bottom of the second with a runner at first and nobody out. Garner moved down to the number five spot in the lineup. But either way, Garner's still going to be looking for production. That was a curveball that we were late on. So that's going to be swung on and missed for the first strike. I thought we would have had that. But unfortunately, as you saw, we were late on it, which made us miss. Either way, it's an 0-1 count. Let's see what uh, let's see what this pitcher provides for Gardner. The 0-1. Ooh, that probably should have been left alone. But that's gonna get into right field. That's probably gonna be an out. Uh, nope. Luckily, the uh, luckily the uh, guy at the guy on first got over the second safely. And now we have two runners on to lead off the inning. That was just kind of dribbled past the first baseman. But you know what? It hits a hit. Brett Gardner's coming up with a 226 average, one home run, five RBIs, and four stolen bases on the season. He has an 02 count. Looks like this at bat may not help his average or his RBI total. We will see. Oh, you're gonna throw you're gonna throw back to first. Really? Really? You think I didn't see the first baseman just run all the way back? You think I'm just gonna get caught off guard by that? Whatever. I'll take my one step. Alright, throw throw to Gardner, because he's probably gonna get struck struck out anyway. Oh, that's one's gonna be drilled into shallow center, so it's actually. He actually popped out, but either way, he still didn't really help much, Gardner. Hey, we almost have similar jerseys, except mine's 33 and yours is 11. <laughs> All right, Kent Gizwaldo's coming up with an 0-2 count. God damn it, guys, with your 0-2 count. How about you get, like, a, 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 a good count? A good count where you're not sucking. Oh, that one's going to be... Uh, 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 no, 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 we're out. We are so out. We are so out. We are second, our last second... Hesitation screwed us up. No. God damn it. Oh, Gardner one for one with that horrible base running situation. Bottom of the fourth. 5-2 game. Gwinnett leads. Nobody on, nobody out. Here's the pitch. It's going to be a slider that could not get back over the plate for ball. One, one and no. The manager said before the game that he wants us to be able to work walks. So if we do get a walk, I will happily take it. Um, there's another plate discipline helping us go up. That's another slider that was out of the zone. The count was 2-0. Will he give us a pitch here to hit? Let's see the 2-0. It's going to be a sinker outside. Now the count is 3-0 for for Joey Garner. Brett Garner is on bait or on deck, I should say. If Garner is if Joey is able to get onto base. Or actually he'll be on he'll be on deck regardless. He will be the next batter in this inning, regardless. I'm the leadoff hitter. Alright, the 3-1 is going to be drilled into right field. It will be caught for the first out, so unfortunately. Garner couldn't dunk that one into right field, and there's an out. Garner won for two in this game with a single in the second. Is the bottom of the six. We are inching our way back into this game, but we have no runners on bases for whenever we're on base, so it's not really helping us. 
Here is the first pitch of the at-bat. That one's going to be drilled into center field, and that will get in there for a base hit, and Gardner is now two for three in this game. Gardner is red hot. Woo, that's a... Uh... That's something I really wasn't expecting, especially in his double A in, in, in his double A uh, games. He wasn't doing too bad. He, he finished the season just uh, I think at 283, you no know, batting average for the season, so it was good. I just didn't think that Gardner would get the uh, the pickup that he has since he's been uh, you know since he joined Triple A. But either way, here we are, and we are trying to make the most of it. Here is the one two to, to Brett Gardner. That's gonna be popped up to very shallow right field. Actually, it's gonna go to the foul grounds, but it will be caught by the right fielder nonetheless for the second out of the inning. And Gardner Joey is stranded at first. That is gonna bring up Kent Gezwaldo, who is 0 for 2 in this game. The manager is saying, "Steal the base." You got it, coach. I will do that. Here is whatever the count is. I'm not looking at that right now. The throw is going to be inside the throw to up. Oh, that we're out. Yep. I knew it. I knew it. And we get pummeled for it in points. Two for three is Gardner with two singles. The bottom of the ninth. And there are, of course, nobody on base. Nobody on. Nobody out. Here's the pitch to Gardner. It's pitch right down the middle. And Gardner is going to drill that one into right fielder's glove because... I guess we have to have a 500. We have to have 50-50 booking when it comes to my hitting, okay? If you, if you guys didn't know, I actually schedule my hittings the same way that Dota B books the wrestlers, all right? I do 50-50 booking. It has to be 500 straight up the bat. <laughs> Either way, Gwinnett is able to come in and uh, take the first game of the series. They win it 5-4. to four. We almost got back into it. Unfortunately, the hits that Garner had didn't turn into much because we didn't have any freaking base runners. So, these at-bats went to nothing. But that's where I'm going to leave this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed watching. We played three games here. I'll definitely be playing more as we hopefully ed edge just a little bit closer towards the MLBs. I can just taste it. It's got to be coming close. But uh, like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed watching. If you did, be sure you smash the like button, comment, share, and subscribe so you do not miss another Joey Gardner video or any other video whenever they are posted. And until next time, hope you guys have a great day or night or whenever you are watching this. Be sure you check out all my social media links. You can find those in the description down below. And until next time, I will talk to you all later. Peace. Oh,